Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And very good day. My name is Muhammad Adam Marifin. I am Group 5 leader for our project, mini project which is Smart Wheelchair. Here, I will uh, show our demo with the prototype. First, uh, we will connect uh, the prototype with Bluetooth. Here, which is our Bluetooth model name is uh, G5VR. Okay, connected to G5VR. So, I will push the but reset button at the uh, STM board so we can yeah. see what the startup uh, when we have connected here it will display hi this is Adam this is my wheelchair also at the bluetooth devices that have connected will also display and then we can choose auto or manual auto or manual so right now I will show how the manual mode is done so I will press M at the bluetooth device M and send and then there is five menu which is one forward second backward third right and the fourth left so first, I will show one by one. First, forward. This forward, and the CD also will display move forward. Next, backward, which is two. It move backward. Next, three, which is right. It will turn right. And then, four, turn left. It will turn right and turn left 19 degree. Also, uh, we can uh, also move forward back. And then backward. Now it is at the original position. So uh, now I want to stop using manual mode. So I will press five. So after I press five, I can choose either I want to continue manual, A, which is auto mode, and E is exit. So here at the LCD also we st uh, stated that stop choose mode. So right now I'll show how the auto mode is done. So I will press A and then enter so the Bluetooth module will receive A. Uh, the prototype will always move forward until it detects an obstacle less than 10 cm. So here it detects an obstacle and then it will turn right. After that, it detects an obstacle again and turn right. So this is how the automotive is done. If it continue to detect an obstacle, it will turn to another position. Which is uh, right now, it will turn right again. So if we want to stop, we just press 1 here and then it will stop. Okay, here as you can see, it will continue to the menu selection which is to continue auto, manual or exit. So right now, I want to press E for me to exit the program. And then it will end. The LCD will turn off. All of the components will turn off. But here, as you can see at the Bluetooth device, if you want, uh, if you want to start again, if yes, please enter R. So I can start again from the beginning by simply pressing R. So it will turn on from the start, which is here. Hi, this is Smart Wheelchair. And then it will show auto or manual. As you can see here also, we can choose the mode, either we want to choose auto, manual or exit. I think that's all from my group. Thank you. I will debug and run the coding that we have done into uh, my STM32 board. So here, just simply press here and then it will compile. So here it will upload and then the STM32. So as we can see, there are no uh, error or warning for our coding. So right now, I will explain how our coding is done. First, as you can see at the top, there are two function header, which is liquid crystal ls 2 c for LCD and software CD load H for Bluetooth module. Next is the function declaration for our coding, which is to measure the obstacle, turn right, turn left, move forward, move backward, stop and also restart. We can see all the func function that we use at the bottom of our coding. Next, we also initialize all of our components pin, which is uh, LCD, LED, Moto, Moto A, Moto B, ultrasonic sensor, and also buzzer. Next is the global declaration, where we also initialize our motor speed. So we move on to the void setup. So in the void setup, we declare which components is the output and which component is the input. So we also declare what our uh, what the speed of our motor 
and when the motor the initial state for the motor is to, uh, to stop which is low 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 we also start the lcd and then it will display welcome g5 smart wheelchair which is uh, after that adam Irina and Tansha. This uh, this will display at our Bluetooth device, and this will display at our LCD, at the prototype. So we will move on to the boy loop. If the user enter M, it will go to the loop which is switch case loop. For uh, if if the user press one, it will move forward. Next, if the user press two, it will move backward and so on. Other uh, if the user press uh, five. It will stop and it will ask if the, the user want to continue auto, uh, continue manual or continue auto. If the user press A and then it will go to the loop uh, for, for A which is automatic. In the automatic loop, it will always move forward which is here. Else, which is, it will always move forward. If the, we use ultrasonic sensor to detect obstacle which is here, which is uko distance. It will, it will always uh, detect for, for an obstacle. If there is an obstacle, it will move to this uh, loop, which is if. If halangan. And then, it will detect obstacle. Uh, the halangan function will uh, turn on the L buzzer and LCD. It will turn right. And then, if there is still an obstacle, it will turn left 180. And then, if it still have an obstacle in front of it, it will turn left 90 degree. Then, uh, if the user press 1 at the Bluetooth device, and then uh, the prototype, uh, the Bluetooth module will, will send either the user want to continue auto, manual, or exit. If the user press E, which is exit, it will enter this loop, which is it will end. And if the, after that, it will end. But if the user want to restart, which is want to start again, the user can simply press R and enter this uh, function call which is restart.